Well, Mother Nature had her own plans today. Welcome back, you guys, to another video here on Five Acre Homestead. My name is Danny, and today we're stuck under the front porch doing a little unboxing video of this heavy duty towable utility cart by Groundwork. This is the one with the 1,000 pound hauling capacity. And yeah, I've been pretty excited to set it up and put her to use. Um, I actually received this as a Christmas present and I've been kind of just waiting for a day like today to set it up and yeah, show you guys what it's all about. So what this video is going to entail is we're going to go through a full unboxing, a uh, little mini review and first impressions and show you what it's all about. Hope you guys all enjoy the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to Five Acre Homestead for more videos like this. And I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. So first things first, I believe all you're going to need for setting this little cart up is a basic toolkit, uh, some ratchets and some wrenches, and then an air compressor, which I have right here in the background as well, for when we have to air the tires up later in the video. But let's get to it, let's unbox it, and see what we have inside. Okay, so this is kind of what we have inside. Um, it looks a little bit beat up and disorganized and I really don't think that's at any fault of the company that sold the cart or groundwork, the company itself. Um, it's just been moved so many times in and out of the garage into a vehicle and I think just over the last five months since Christmas, it's just gotten a little bit beat up. So let's see what we've got here and we'll get to setting up the cart. We've got four tires. Here's to be the axles, the handle, and just more sidewalls. So here are the instruction manuals and the hardware that actually comes with the cart. And what I like about it is that every piece of hardware is labeled for each step in the instruction manual. I think that's a cool touch and it makes it a lot easier to set it up. to get every piece organized here and then we'll get to setting it up. So according to the instruction manual, we're going to set it on its base upside down first and we're going to install basically the axles here on the front and the back side. So let's get to that. Okay, so step one here is I'm just going to put the rear axle on like so. And then we'll open up our hardware for tightening this up. Okay, so essentially one washer for each bolt. And then we will just hand tighten them for now. Okay, for the front, we'll take the front axle. We have a black washer that will go on just like so. It slips over, another brass washer, and then our nut. And which we will hand tighten for now as well. All right, so we'll tighten these guys down with a 7 8 ratchet. And then we'll tighten this next one down with a 15 16 And the instructions don't say to do it, but I assume you need to leave it somewhat loose a little bit just so it can move and rotate so it can be steered. Okay, so next we're going to attach, basically this is part of the handle um, that comes out the front axle. We've got two holes right here and essentially they just connect to the front to two holes right here. Okay. 
Okay, so right now they're hand tight, and we'll just tighten them up with a ratchet. Okay, so next we've got the tires, so valve stem out, and we're just gonna slip them on kind of like so, like that, and like that on these sides too. Kind of like so. And then the hardware that comes with it is four washers that go just on the outside like that. Okay, next. We've got these four little pins, kind of like that. I need to secure these before I drop them through the crack of my porch. And then all we do is we take the pins and they go through these little holes here for the wheels. Like so. Like so. And then we'll do the same on the back side. like so. Uh, now we actually need some needle nose pliers that I gotta go get, and then we'll just bend the pins to keep, so the wheels don't come off. Not quite needle nose, but lineman's pliers will work too. done here. Next step uh, is actually installing the handle to the front axle. Kinda like so. And we'll take our half inch ratchet and tighten her up. And probably goes without saying, you don't need this one super tight because you want it to have some movement. And then I think all that's left, you guys, is to put the sides on. This has been a super, super easy install. Okay, so now for the sides, there's just these little slots right here that it'll fit into. Like so. And we'll just kind of let it rest like that for now. Same with the back side. Like so. Next we'll do the front. Okay, so then essentially how you secure the cage and each side to themselves is you bring them up and then it just has this little catch right here. Kind of like that. Kind of getting the hang of it here. And then it keeps it locked in place, so we'll do it on this side too. So you just bring it up, lock it in place. So kind of like that, I definitely like the versatility of being able to take the sidewalls down to create a flat bed, if you will, in case you're hauling something um, that's too big essentially for um, the cart with the walls up. So it's super easy. And I definitely like that feature of it. Comes with a pin, goes through. Essentially, you just kind of lock it in place, like so. And 
And there you have it. There's the handle. What I like about this is that the handle can be removed with the pin like so. And then this will fit right into the hitch on a lawnmower or a lawn tractor. And that's what I'm really excited about. So last but not least, um, it just says to air the tires up to not exceed 30 PSI. So we're just gonna put a little air into them. That one didn't even quite have 10 to begin with. All right, you guys, so that's it. That is the Groundwork 1,000 pound hauling capacity garden utility cart, and I'm super excited about it. So be sure to look forward to me using it here in future videos. I believe it goes for $169.99 at stores like Tractor Supply. I'll link it down in the description if you're interested. Um, but yeah, it's uh, really nice weather out here today in North Idaho, so we're actually going to park it and head inside. But We'll hook it up here to the lawnmower, go down to the carport, and put it away. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a thumbs up on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.